In this video we're going to be welding a T fillet using 100 amps and after we finish we're going to be destructive testing and breaking this piece using the nip break test method. So before we get into the fun part of testing it we've got to put a weld down. To achieve this joint we're going to be welding at a 45 degree angle with a push angle of 15 degrees. In order to get a good weld when doing a T fillet we've got to hold the torch steady and move it along in a controlled manner, maintaining a consistent travel speed and appropriate distance of about a quarter of an inch between the tungsten electrode and the workpiece. So we've got to ensure that we keep dipping that wiring consistently and just for this test we're actually going to put a stop start in this and we're going to destructive test this stop start area. So from this view you can actually see that the ripple formation is forming very nicely. That's what we're looking for when we're completing the weld. Because we're stuck to 100 amps throughout this plate is starting to get relatively hot now so we have to adjust our travel speed slightly and speed up a tiny little bit just so we ensure that we don't distort or ruin this material. So we're making our way towards the end of the run now. So what we're going to do is have a look at the finished product and make sure that we're fused, penetrated and we've got nice ripple formation throughout this joint. So the next stage of this task is to cut the pieces up into three pieces and as promised we're actually going to test our stop start area. So to complete a nip break test we break the workpiece wherever we want to use to test. In this case we're going to pick the place where the defect is most likely to happen so that would be on the stop start. After that we're going to put a nick or saw in between that weld, so straight down the centre of that weld until we get about halfway through the joint. Once we've achieved that we're going to pop it in a vise and we're literally going to tap both ends of this until we are able to see the internal structure of the workpiece. And this is going to allow us to check for penetration, fusion and any nasty defects like cracks or inclusions that are in that welded joint. So if you found this video informative or you just enjoyed it, smash that thumbs up button for us. So you've learned how to do a flat T fillet doing a single pass, but on this video you can see on screen now, we're going to turn it up a notch and make it even more challenging. We'll see you over there.